We've got to work harder and smarter to preserve the American dream. Bill Clinton has been a fixture at the podium of Democratic conventions since 1976, when the young aspiring Democrat was allowed to speak a few words in praise of Harry S. Truman. When I was back home in Arkansas, a friend of mine... In 1988, said, as the keynote speaker for Michael Dukakis, Clinton nearly short-circuited his career by delivering a speech so wonky and long-winded that the crowd only burst into applause when he finally uttered the line, In closing! Clinton did better four years later when he accepted the Democratic nomination in Madison Square Garden. He closed his speech with the memorable reference to his birthplace in Arkansas. I still believe in a place called hope. Clinton faced only a modest challenge from Republican Bob Dole in 1996, and his speech that year is remembered mostly for his call to build a bridge to the 21st century. To the 21st century. A slogan that the White House nearly wore out during the campaign and into Clinton's second term as president. In 2008, Clinton found himself in the awkward position of promoting Barack now, Obama. In the end, my candidate didn't win. A man he had spoken well, ill of during the primaries when Clinton was campaigning for his wife Hillary. But in 2012, Clinton found his voice again. As another president once said, there they go again. <laughs> this time making the case for Obama's re-election. Speaking like a folksy college professor, he walked the audience through a lucid, well-argued case for why Obama had rescued America from a financial disaster and deserved to be re-elected. Are we where we want to be today? No. Is the president satisfied? Of course not. But are we better off than we were when he took office? A gratified Obama later dubbed him his secretary for explaining stuff. On Tuesday, Clinton faces perhaps his biggest challenge yet, championing Hillary to an audience still restive and divided, with supporters of Bernie Sanders licking their wounds from a bitter primary defeat. This is Mark Landler with the New York Times.